Welcome. This is Football Made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kwa. This will be the only pidgin language football show for the whole world. This will be where we discuss the biggest and hottest Ghanaian football topics for pidgin inside. So everybody go get some talk. So if you get any opinion on the topics we go discuss today, I beg. The WhatsApp number there your screen top. Just save them. Um, City TV, Football Made in Ghana, and far away some message. We go like read your opinions um, somewhere along the show, but we go there on for the next hour. So if your opinions go fit come between now and the end of the show, we really, really go like. Today we get a very interesting show. We go get some very interesting perspectives on Dreams FC. On other matters, Ghana, we don't want to host the Wafu Under 17 men's tournament or the boys tournament we go discuss the competition we go discuss how we they prepare give that competition recently we do the africa game so the expectation we say we go pull off another great competition this time for football inside then we go talk some ghana premier league uh, news media matter and Kotoko, the biggest game for this weekend we go discuss that one we go discuss Kotoko and all the other big topics for the ghana premier league so very very packed show for you today on football made in ghana my name is nathan kwa once again we will take some very very quick break by the time we go come back my guests go make ready then we go start the show we go come back ready make you no go anywhere welcome back this be football made in ghana for city tv make i introduce my first guest, my other guest go join me in a few minutes, so just relax, give me my first guest, be my colleague on the City Sports Desk, mm -hmm. Yao EJ Minta, Yao EJ Minta, uh, me and I'm going to do the show today. Like I talk, when my other guest go join me in a bit, what's up? I do. <laughs> I do, I do. All right, so like I talk, when my other guest go join me very, very soon, so just relax, um, give we very interesting so, yeah, Charlie, welcome. How are oh, you? Thank you, thank you. Everything nice. Everything, Everything nice. cool. Everything cool. All Everything. right, all right, all right. We'll go Star Plus. Dreams FC, they right now, they'll be the Ghana's or the only Ghanaian team where it left for the club competitions inside for Africa. They go the Comfort Cup. They're my first time. They win the MTN FA Cup where they go. They navigate group stage, navigate quarter finals. They navigate one half of the semi final. Now, they for play Zamalek for Kumasi in the second semi final. The way. The results check. The first leg, it be goalless. So now, any win at all, go send Dreams FC through. So that be the only story. But they for be very, very, very careful of Zamalek. The people where they know watch the first leg, this be the highlights of that game. Zamalek 0, Dreams FC 0, CAF Confederation Cup first leg semi-final. All right, so that be Dreams FC, the my away trip. Zamalek 0, Dreams FC 0. That be the first leg of the semi-final of the CAF Confederation Cup. So it is set up the second leg in a very, very interesting way. Um, yeah, your thoughts on this result. Yeah. Sunday then, ask the other things they go on. Boys, they watch that one too for one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, then the fear be say, Charlie, Zamalek, like they go fiscal one. Yeah. But dreams hold on. They go yeah. get goalless draw for Egypt. Yeah, it'd be, it be good result. Wow. But me not know they fear like that. Oh, I see. Oh, if you go carry out, now with the panorama talk, yeah. where, uh, in the lead up to the game, yeah. where I talk say, this is Amalek team. I know they really see them like that. Yeah, yeah. If you watch them uh, qualification all the way can this, this stage, uh, it will not be anything heavy like that. And the only thing now at the fear, small, be say, they beat Alali in, before they, they play against um, Dream Sensei. They mm -hmm. beat Alali 2-1. That would be the only fear now I guess, say, oh, right now they pick from small, where they get big win over, they my better rival, that would be Alali mm -hmm. there. Then um, Dream Sensei, they will go, they go make hot small. But... You take that one out. Oh, now me and I get them say, <laughs> oh, um, Dream FC then go feel do something because, uh, I, like I talk, you know, Zama leg them are form. You know, should that be anything yeah. heavy like Even that? Even before this game, then then they be twelfth for the Egyptian league. Yeah. So in terms of, oh yeah, that form one there, they're not really really. Yeah, but that but the, that position for the Egyptian league top, you basically call the number of games they play. If you watch the Egyptian league, uh, as at the time before uh, before they go play this game against uh, Dream FC, now Alali uh, no, now Zama leg day twelfth. Then Alali they like loving things because them they play fewer games than more of the teams for the league mm, inside. Okay. So if you watch the, the league table, uh, then um ENPPI, then they second, but then they play 18 games. We Alali uh, Alali then um, Zamalek play 12, 13 games. Oh, so, okay, so maybe like they get much for Yeah, they, they get, get more matches, matches they get more inside. matches for Fridge inside, wait them for clear. Uh -huh, that's why then they that position. But that you take that one aside, cry. If you watch them play, it won't be anything heavy like that. Like then times, Damalek, they come, you Shit. go play against Damalek. It'll be different game. You know, you see, say, no, this be squad. But you see, say, them, then they, they might play for the group stages inside, then, then play against uh, um, Angola side, uh, Regatta Esperance. 
it not be anything heavy like that. So me now no, I no get um, fear, more fear. Say um, dream says you no go feel, um, get um, some positive win or some positive results for inside. Mm. Me now I, I I get them say dream says you go feel do something. So me I no shock say then get some goalless um, draw for for the Egypt inside. But yeah, they no they no get them a main talisman for for the game inside. That be Zamalek, mm -hmm. um, um, Ahmed Zizou. Um, he played for the Afcon inside. Yeah. Um, it more uh, more brothers go I've been I be like now they wear number fifteen um, jersey for the Egyptian yeah, team inside. Yeah. In, if you take John Entry, then um, Abdul Aziz is up for the Dream FC team inside. Uh, this tournament inside, it be Zizo will get the the most um, goal contributions. Now he, he scored three goals and he registered three assists um, okay. for the games inside. So. It be it be live why I give give them way she can ball out to as we see oh, yeah. Um, yeah into it, it tries more but then with some chances then with some good opportunities so it be up to Dreams FCC then go we'll come come and say where they go we'll finish the job because this one they do half of the job then do half finish so therefore come come and see then can complete them because African football no be like European football where they scrap uh, away goal mm. rule African football still away goals day. So as you go there, go play goalless. What do they mean? We say if they can then get one goal, wait and then draw safe. One one, two two, three three. So this then any, qualify. Any score draw. Yes, any score draw then qualify. Zamalek will qualify because it be level ground, goalless. Dreams FC no get away goal. Wait them go feel lie on yeah. or rely on. Uh huh. Zamalek to no get, no home get goal. any home goal. So any goal then get away from home, it will be crucial. That they mean say. Dream Sexy for score two. That they means a Dream Sexy for score two. So it they mean a lot. It they, mm. it they really mean a lot. So we we'll go see how uh, okay. Dream Sexy go, go handle the pressure. Because as ISA, they open free gate for Popular Standard oh, yeah, and, stand and, and Center, center line. line. Yeah, yeah for the Babayara okay. this Sunday. Uh, so Popular Standard and Center Line with the VIP and the VVIP be like 20 Ghana, 40 Ghana, that, that level. They don't want to make more people enter the stadium, can't give them fans, mm. make them back them, make them push them, say, then go feel get that win, then qualify go final. It be it be go be very historic because this be my first time in the compete for yeah, Africa. The first time. This be my first time in the compete for Africa inside. Where they feel rich this level, semi final. Where it left small. That why they talk say therefore can't complete the mission. The mission they they no finish them. <laughs> then do half the job they they do half. Therefore come then can't complete them. Then finish them. Then finish them where they make it to the final. That one they whatever go happen. It make it happen because if they feel um, uh, win the, the title, Ghana, when the chances they go get back on a first loss, no, a day high. I see, yeah, a day high. So, yeah, this one will be national agenda where we push. Okay, all right, make we make we hear from um, some of the main actors for the dreams FC team inside. First, we go hear from Karim Zito, then. Uh, they must strike a John Entry. John Entry, you know, you get experience. He play all across South Africa, especially for Egypt. Yes. Pyramids, Ismaili. Yes, then for Alali. Alali. So, yeah. yeah, in the bab, the Egyptian football, you know, inside that. So, make we hear from Karim Zito, then John Entry. Then, if they finish up, we go come back to the studio. First place, everybody knew the caliber of players, the standard of play, and what Zamalik is meant, where it comes to. African football and maybe the world. Zamalik by far ahead of uh, uh, Dreams FC. No two ways about it. But football as it is, uh, it always causes surprises. And I said the match looked frightening and very difficult, but it is not impossible. So now that we've been there, surely when they come, the only advantage you have is we are playing in Ghana. Yes. Because with all their supporters behind them, with all the intimidation, we were able to come out unscattered. So we are sure that at the end of the day, you see us struggling to put things uh, at the correct, the way I want them to. So I'm putting the energy in them first before we go into the tatties. So surely we had a meeting before the beginning of our training that then this stage we are going to play is more difficult than the first stage. And it's more open. So it's not about you coiling or do, we are going all to score, but with cautiousness. Uh, well, I think uh, it has been fantastic uh, looking at uh, where we are coming from. I mean, when we started the tournament, uh, 
a lot of people didn't give us the chance to reach this far. So I think uh, with hard work and determination, uh, where we have gotten so far, we say it has been very fantastic. Okay. You've played for Pyramids, you've played for Ismaili, you've, you've played for Alali. These are Egyptian clubs. You are facing Zamalek. I mean, you've played them already in the first leg. Um, what do you think your experience that you've got can do to help the team go past another familiar foe you are so aware of? Well, I think, uh, first of all, uh, I would say they are a very good club. They are a very big club also. I mean, I've played against them a couple of times in Egypt, so I know uh, the kind of club we are facing now. So, like always, and uh, like every game that we've gone into, we are going to just prepare very hard, stay focused, and then go into the game and go for the win. All right, so that'll be John Entry. Uh, before, before um, you hear from Karim Zito, head coach of Dreams FC. Yeah, so very interesting thought. So mm -hmm. make me stop last, John Entry. John Entry, they say the Egyptians, he play against them. He yeah. know, he play all over. In the, this competition, he plays on before he, with some of the previous clubs. Yeah. Wait, so if it go like win, mm -hmm. it go like win with Dreams FC. Yeah. How much value or how valuable go be in experience on Sunday? Because of the how many players Dreams get, it be in at this level he plays on before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dreams FC, they, them, them are scouting level, it be it, it they high. Uh, I, I praise them um, some time back for for Air Top, for Panorama Top. Say, they come scouting, yeah, then get one of the best scouting levels for. For the country inside, mm. so then get more talented youngsters. Even now, then they develop them. But as we know, the system inside for Ghana, you you do tetetong, so you you develop them, you nurture them small, then you sell them. So as we we they speak, uh, Sparta Rotterdam. So then I hear say then send them a scout. Say me then can check um, Abdulaziz Isa, uh -huh. uh -huh, for the game inside on on Sunday. So if always you they nurture the players, we they don't feel rich age thirty. John Entry so chop 30 years. Uh -huh. but, it, but you they sell them. You go raise the situation where you will get plenty kiddies, but very few veteran players. Players will then get experience for the system inside, mm. especially when they play for CAF Confederations Cup. Where this be um, Dreams FC, they're my first time in a go this competition inside. So definitely, you go lack something small for experience inside. So as you bring John Entry, come the system inside, it really, really they help. It really they lead the players. Um, how they for gather them our body, how they for psych them our body, how they for approach games, when, especially when they go away from home. Mm. For, for home side, because they don't get plenty support, you know, it's just like, oh, they make free small, within the field, express them our body. But this weekend, I should say more people will come to the stadium inside. And one thing I noticed about Ghana football, from black satellites, from... Black princesses, as we see for the Af African games. Mm -hmm. Once and even black, black queens, queens, yeah. Once they see big crowd like that, first half, watch, it be trained. Then be G3 all over the place. They don't get confused like that. But the second half, then they start settle. So somebody like John Entry, so this Sunday, as more people are sure they will move to the Kumasi uh, Sports Stadium, Babaya Sports Stadium, then see the big crowd like that. Semi final, you win, you qualify to the final. Final day on the line, more pressure go there, the boys, them are top. That way they need someone like John Entry. And it go really, really it really helps the in be the captain way, it in to be the striker. Because one thing we know about Ghana players or Ghana team, we say, oh, the ball, they go feel work, the ball make go there, the, the final third inside. By race there, then I hope they pray, the jitters, then it is setting, then they don't want impress, overly impressed, then you go see, say, it mess up the chance. But once you get um, John Entry for, for there, where the captain be experienced player, yeah, that's what you, you go really need, where you go take away the chances. Because at the end of the day, football will be about the goals. Where right mm. now, Dreams FC didn't need a goal. So once you get experienced player like that for that position inside there, mm. it will be crucial. They're defending, they're going to do something. Solomon, I'm going to see them in boys. They're going to do something. Uh, Abdulaziz Issa, Foray McCarthy, them midfielders, then go play for the, the African games inside. Them or then they. Then go feel work them a, them a magic. Then go feel create something. Then they left the, the people or the person where you go plant mm -hmm. the boy in the net. And that be, that'd be John Entry. And once he get that experience, that be the Ajanim watching them. means Ajanim watching means them. That be the best thing you go feel you go feel get as a as a mm -hmm. young team like Dreams FC. Karim Zito, I mean, we listen um, he say Charlie, 
they and Zama, like they know they the same level. Oh, yeah. It is bam. But now, I mean, that that, that be the game. They for play against Zama, like mm -hmm. over the weekend. It talks say they for correct one or two things. Tactically, for your mind inside, what will be the best plan for this game? Because like you talk, the away goals rule still day. So mm -hmm. now they for outscore Zamalek mm -hmm. or score one and either back. So they for yeah. win the game outright. So yeah. say they go free qualify to the final. What be the best tactical approach uh, Karim Zito for use this weekend? So say if they so if they search some result, mm -hmm. so say go free get that result and then go yeah. go the final. The tactic be, be simple. Make you not do what you do um, for the start Malian game. Where then start now they be very conservative. Some way. Like they don't want express them our body too much. Then they won't keep things cool because now they get the away win. So they just won't maintain the system, control the system now, take finish the game. We start Malian score. So as they score no, we then start open inside. Now that when dreams have open inside, we then then create chances, we then get them my equalizer. And that one not then they need to qualify. Against Zamalek, me they don't try that thing. Because Zamalek will come in very, very hot for the first 15 minutes. So for the first 15 minutes there, yeah, may them be conservative. That one they are the bab. But after those first 15 minutes, I beg, may they open inside and try to get goal quick. May they try to get mm. goal quick. Because these um, Egyptians, these North African teams, they know how, some way, somehow, they go feel, create something, then get a goal and get a result when they, they need them. So for me, that that be the only thing I go, I go, I go tell um, Karim Zito then in boys, then the right side of defense. You see, they, for the first leg inside, he played three men at the back. Okay. Three, four, um, three, four, one, two. Now, if you go play that style, then you're, you're going back for, for work a little bit uh, harder, then a little bit more. So me, I, me and the suggest say they for bring someone like um, uh, Sylvester Simba, for instance. Okay. Um, he played a chant, he get, he, get the, he get the experience, and he know this system inside where he played for Premier League inside multiple years. So in so in so you put them for that right side of, of the midfield, it will feel help out defensively. And that'll be what me had to look out for um, from Karim Zito then in boys. Mm. I should say if they feel sort those issues out uh, the psyche, make them start correct, make them manage the game yeah, the first 10, 15 minutes, make them be conservative, make them be resolute at the back. Then after that make them open inside and try to get go. Then make them make sure see them are right side no. Mm. They they will be, but they will be a, solid. Well, I mean the goal there they forgot. They are great players. You largely. Yeah. Me, my only concern. Be say I mean if they open the game inside, they go go back and forth, back mm -hmm. and forth. Then they go fi give uh, Zamalek some chance. Or mm -hmm. the way the the second leg did yeah, they for open inside them and, and play. Yeah, this, the way the second leg did you know, If you talk say you they do your body overly conservative, they go fi come back to haunt you. It go feel come back to hunt you because there's someone like front line who then misfire for the f first leg that one they uh, with the bar, but then be better pass the start my lane squad. Nice. That be the thing. That be the thing. And Zizo too, more times you go you go feel feature for this game inside because now they suspend them for the first leg okay. inside. So you you know the one you know the one push your luck. You know the one push your luck. The best thing you for do be say shall go out there like I said. Man, like I talk no, manage the game J. Yeah. The first 15 minutes, J. Yeah. It will be cool. But I want to say, if you pop ways, you say no. The Zamalek people, them, then, then be open. Yeah, if you hit out on the on the counter attack, they hit, mm. uh, score, try score goal. But okay. I mean, the best thing I will talk is say, first 15 minutes, manage the game, manage the game in phases. The first 15 minutes, they be conservative. The second phase, Charlie, open inside and try get goal because. You know the one situation like the Star Malian is, um, uh, instance where Star Malian get go first go where now dreams as if we go chase the game giddy giddy. Some like be better um, uh, opposition past Star Stand, Malian. Okay. Then get the likes of Matluti, Hamza Matluti them so yeah, for them be, a back line inside. That, Tunisian experience, player, yeah. Yeah, experienced player. Mm, so I when see. it comes defending, say then get go with them for defend, then secure the win, take qualify. Oh yeah, that one then go for the one. Mm, I see Sunday. Big day for Dreams FC. They, they host Zamalek for the second leg of the CAF Confederation Cup semi final. The first leg end goalers. Now, Dreams forget win any kind of win at all group. 
move them to the final. And like we explained already, because the away goals rule still there <laughs> in existence, any score draw go send Zamalek through to the final. We all know one that one. So I bet if you did Kumasi, even if you did Accra, you don't get anything to do this weekend. Just drive, go Kumasi, go support Dreams FC. This will be the first time that they go Africa, and this will be how far they cast. Right now, it left another 50% of the work, then they go go the final. Then now we go discuss them separately. It'll be final. We go see how they go play them. But this is football made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kwa Yawe. Jay Minta be my guest. Uh, make we take some very quick break. Uh, by the time we go come back, my second guest go make ready, then we go uh, put them on. We go come back ready, make no go anywhere. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kwa J Minta be my guest. We they discuss Dreams FC. Uh, like I told today, the, 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 the menu there long. We get Dreams FC, we go discuss some national team news. We go discuss some other club football. But when our main guest, the VIP of the day, he joined me. Henry Asantichum, comes director of the GF. Henry, how are you? I yeah, tell you, come this road talk yeah. way back for the other <laughs> Today to go there, I <laughs> oh, do that our, place, actually, no, they, they. I catch the place. I see, say the place be completely messed no, up. No, 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 no. I say, ah, but this be where <laughs> they actually no, no. Did. This be where. Then this the lady tell me, say, oh God, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we did. Henry, how be? How yeah, be it's good to be here, bro. Charlie, um, we they discuss dreams. You, I mean, you did the FA. You and dreams get very interesting relationship. Just your thoughts on one, the journey so far. And two, what they for do get over the line because the first half of the job they do for Egypt, goalless. But the circumstances we say now they forget outright win. Any score draw go push Zamalek through. So, so first of all, just general thoughts on the journey so far and what they for do take qualify on Sunday. Well, I I think they them first. Um, first of all, if you look at how they struggled to make up their mind, say, then they go to Africa. At some point, then they're not be sure, then the, the, the leadership of the team, they think, say, what if we go and it doesn't go well, mm -hmm. it means say, all the money go go waste. So initially, then they, they be a bit skeptical. But once they made up their mind, say, then go play, you know, um, things have fallen in line. Um, the journey from Equatorial Guinea to Sierra Leone and then qualification to the group stage. Then as they catch the group stage, then for strategize. But one thing then force pan be say, then pick all the home points. Yeah. So then beat Lobito, then beat uh, Rivers United, then then beat uh, Club, um, Club African 1 0. So that nine points secure. Mm -hmm. Then they need one away win, Kushinam. Then they go do for Angola, mm -hmm. um, for Lobito, mm -hmm. where they get 12 points. Yeah. Eventually, it be them top the group. So then qualify to the knockout stage. Yeah. And against that Malian, plenty of people think, say, oh, yeah, what will happen? But then go Bamako, um, they were, not, they were um, um, down, as in, in terms of mm -hmm. their nerves, how they manage the game. Mm -hmm. um, start Malian score first, immediately then equalize because John Entry get the experience that you, mm -hmm. you, can, you can have, that you need in a team like this. Then um, they went ahead to score the winning goal, held on until they won. But one fascinating thing be say, as they go Mali, then all them are central defenders, no day. Wow. Two of them get suspension, including them are captain, Jalilu. Mm -hmm. Then um, the other choice to get injured. Okay. So the central defenders will then play the six matches for the group stage, all of them no day. Wow. For Mali. For Mali. Then they use midfielders for central defense. Okay. Then I mean for the first leg. For the first leg okay. for Mamako. Mm -hmm. So then use midfielders for the for, for the central defense and it work. I see. Perfectly. They then get away win. One thing I observe for Kumasi be say then they be a bit nervous. The coach tell them make them relax because start Mali go bring hey, the game course, to them. Yeah, so make them relax, yeah, then yeah, play yeah. them a game. But you know, you know, should that be? Um, Isa for for me on the day was was not good enough. Then uh, Mali, because of experience, and in that Mali team, then get one ex Dreams FC player. I show the guy, give them feel upon <laughs> Isa Yakubu. Okay. Give them feel upon so Throughout the game, for me, I think Stad Malian were on top. Mm -hmm. From the blast of the whistle until mm -hmm. the final whistle, they were on top. Then they scored the first goal. They saw the pressure come dreams and see them at top. Once they scored the second goal, the game go go extra, okay. then penalties. Yeah. But Simba come inside, come change the face of the game. Ajanim then do some yeah. magic, then they feel draw, we then qualify. Against Amalek, Ordinarily, anybody where they walk on the street go talk so oh, yeah, that be the last stop. Yeah, Zamalek, yeah. there, Egypt, there, them are pedigree on the continent, yeah. them are success, players, blah blah, history. You go, you go, you go over Dreams FC. Mm -hmm. But that be not what happened. I think say the strategy for Egypt be very, very positive. 
then allow them make them play, then soak the pressure. If the opportunity they they then hit one on the mm -hmm. counter, then get chances for Egypt oh, yeah, way, get like then go fish score. Yeah. But on the day there, yeah, Agbasi was top yeah. notch, <laughs> the goalkeeper, super. He being saved them yeah. plenty. And well, it'd be very interesting. He makes them for him, body. It's very, it very interesting. Say on the my return to North Africa, mm -hmm. because the opening game against Club, Club Africa, African. Agassi really yeah, struggled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, really it was shake. it was his first game. Uh -huh. but you as, know, in a continental. How many games? Yeah. Six, seven, six, six yeah. games later. Yeah. As they go by, immature. He say now it be immature yeah, yeah, yeah. in yeah. the space of three, four months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Immature. I mean, if you be player where you they play, you they do well. First of all, you for do or you for prove yourself, then your technical team get confident mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. Likely for Agbasi. He get goalkeeper coach where he see continental football before. Okay. Sani Mohammed. Yeah. He be now. He be now. He be in the goalkeeper be, coach. First, for, be the CAF you know. Confederation Cup debut winner. He be, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For two or four with Hatsu Folk. Yeah. You know. So I think say that experience where Sani get you no, know, he push yeah, Agbasi push. Pa, And for me, throughout the competition, aside the first game where you talk, he be one of the star players in the team. Now for Kumase, they do not have to panic. They must be themselves. Mm -hmm. Then for play them a game, then for not look at the opponent, then for just be calm, then play them a game. As then do against Rivers, as then do against Club African, mm -hmm. as then do against um, um, mm -hmm. Lobito from Angola. Mm -hmm. If you be calm, then the crowd go they give them. But I sure say Zamalek too go bring some Egyptian <laughs> uh, citizens yeah. with and they Ghana. Mm -hmm. Come they so them cool. a back. Yeah. So once the crowd day for you, all you for do be say. If you become then play your game. Mm. First of all, make you know avo make you know concede first goal. If concede. you concede first goal, pe pressure will come your top. And this thing happened before for Kumasi 201 under Herbert. Um, as he come where they go in mm. last season 204, then play against uh, a North African opponent for the CAF, then the CAF Cup Cup, final. Yeah. Kotoko go away, things say oh then with that, with that Casablanca yes. work. Then go away, go draw, then things oh it be coco. They scored two. The only corner kick way with that get by two one, mm. with that win the cup. So then for then for avoid try as much as possible. Say you know go concede first. Don't play to the gallery. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Play your game. Be calm. Once then do these things, and you frustrate the opponent. Once you keep to the ball and the opponent will get much of the ball, you have the advantage. Any chance you get, you for try bury him. Any chance you get, you for bury him because this one. It be straight win. If a win, then qualify. qualify. The possibility say the other games have no go happen be high. So if you win this one, <laughs> then you day your corner. You they watch what go happen for 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 the other match. But I think that as they come, me and them they talk. Then they roadside. It be like then almost catch Konongo. Okay. Then they pitch camp early, settle, just acclimatize, be in Kumasi for about five days, then whip up the interest. I sure say then go do some road tours, then things. Okay. So say people will be aware of the game. Then once they open center line, then popular sound is free for, for the fans. Okay. I should say the Kumasi fans to go there, they're back All right. Sunday. Interesting. So if they are cry, like I thought, if you don't get anything to do this weekend, just drive, go Kumasi. If they Kumasi, go support Dream FC. This will be an opportunity for Ghana football to play one of the biggest games in a very, very, very long time in terms of club football. We're going to take some very short break. This will be Football Made in Ghana for City TV. If we come back, we'll go talk about some national team issues, broad national team issues. Some very interesting appointments happened this week. We will try and understand why those appointments happened. Then we'll go figure out uh, what be the way forward for some of these national teams. We'll come back, right? You make me not go anywhere. Welcome back. This will be Football Made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kwame. My guest, Henry Asantichum of the GFA, Yao Ejeminta of the City Sports Desk. Maybe we move on to the other topics. Ghana, they host the Wafu uh, Zone B and the 17 Cup of Nations. That'll be the West African Football Union. So, I don't know, a few years ago, if you can, Ghana hosts some Wafu B senior competition for Cape Coast. Ghana, they host the under 17 men's competition. And, um, we they prepare. Make we listen to Gideon Fosu. Gideon Fosu be part of the LOC, be the LOC boss. Make it give you a few updates on how we they prep for that competition. Then if we come back, we go uh, ask Henry for more perspective on the competition, importance, and what really we want to take that competition do for the Black Starlet team. So I think that um, the African Games give us a lot of leverage because then it gave us it's, it's just ended about a month ago, so it just give us some kind of indications as to what we need to be doing. And so, yes, preparation so far has been good. I think that what we need to now start doing is what I'm doing with you now, which is to let the general public also know what is happening in terms of the tournament. 
And so, yeah, we've, we've dealt with largely with all the things that we need to do before the tournament starts. Some of them are still in progress, but we are hopeful that even before, I think, two weeks or a week before the tournament proper, everything would be settled. Yeah, so preparations have been good so far. The same enthusiasm that we had for the African Games is what we are seeking to get for this Wafu Zombie um, U17 tournament. Of course, you have to put structure. You can't just think that what happened in the African Cup will happen in this tournament. And so we are looking at that is even informing us which location to use, you know, um, which individuals to contact or deal with, which clubs, all of that, engaging the media, for example, is one major part that we, we, we don't have to, you know, lose grip of. So, yeah, the media engagement should be ongoing. We should let everybody know that this is happening in Ghana. We should let everybody know the need to support the team. Once we've done it for the U20, we should be able to do it for the U17. And so, yeah, I think that we are trying hard to make sure that we replicate what we saw. All right, so that'd be Gideon Fosu, he'd be um, LOC boss for the Wafu Zone B and the 17 Cup of Nations. The competition, they play them from the 15th to the 29th of May. Henry, um, Ghana, what's the concern if you say the Black Starlets they play? Um, so far, what be the latest? I know say they did Russia, they play in some competition. Yeah, they were supposed to play Russia at 1.30. I'm sure the game has started yeah, by now. You know, yeah. um, but so far, what be the story with the Black Starlets vis-a-vis -vis this competition and the way forward because ultimately the NBC they could qualify for the African Cup. We don't go the African Cup in a while. We yeah. missed like two editions. Yeah. What be the story of the Black Starlet so far? Well, I, I think they'll be very positive. Um, first, um, Larry Kingston, then the assistants, Nana Ajiman, then Jacob Nete go. Um, the whole country, they look for players. Um, now we get scouts for all the 10 regions where then they work for the technical directorate. So okay. them to then they watch the Coast League, then they see some talents, then then, then, then go recommend give the technical directorate, then the coaches go go watch them. Mm -hmm. So as them go, we, we decide, say, we go bring them for Accra, okay. but in batches. So we bring them for Pram Pram. Uh, we had six different batches of 30 players each. Okay. Um, so over 150 years, 180 years, 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 players were screened in Pram Pram. Um, as they come Pram Pram, then go day like four, five days. Um, then on the final day, which is the fifth day, then go play some friendly match. Then the coaches go look at them, a reaction, aside training. Then then go select some players, put down. Then do ah uh, uh, for the uh, six batches. Okay. So as they finish, those then select, then come back for the second phase of the screening. Okay. Then another batch come for the third phase of the screening. As they talk to yourself, those way they know if you go to Russia, then still they pram pram. Okay. We then they train. Okay. You know, Nana Adakwa, they train them for 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 pram pram. So um, then play several friendly matches. Then play uh, Division One clubs, Premier League clubs. Then play juvenile clubs. As then they pram pram. We decided say we could bring them out of Pram Pram. So some of the matches said we play for Accra. Okay. Last week then play um I think Kotoku Shining Stars yeah. for the Accra Sports Stadium. Then play at Tram DVC. DVC, then play Heart of Lions, then play Great Olympics, then okay. play a couple of a, a number of you know friendly matches. So as they finish the friendly match, then we they look for another opportunity, say we go expose them. Because sometimes the local terrain will be good enough or it will be um satisfactory mm -hmm. enough. So you for make then go a layer higher mm -hmm. so say you go see them uh, you know attitude mm -hmm. them are reaction and things so as this opportunity come uh, we and uefa get some exchange program where once a while then they support us yeah. um, equipment um, technical support training of coaches blah 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 so then then through the opportunity comes say we will off come russia come play four nation okay. tournament then we say why, why not once it fall within the preparatory period for the wafu yeah. we go take up so then, then for leave last week, well, what happened? We say there's just some flooding happened for Abu Dhabi. Okay, yeah. So then passengers with them they transit. They know they feel go. So there was a pile up yeah, of yeah. passengers for Abu Dhabi. So then cancel them a flight. Come two days ago. So eventually two days ago, then go. They arrive late uh, Monday, and then then start training um, yesterday. Then then they play today. Um, today we hope say then go show something because the team get potential. Now, players for this, for this team, majority of them, too, they come from the KGL under 17. Ah. We championship mm -hmm. where we do, you know. We do two club competitions. Later, we do the regional championship for mm -hmm. Kumase. 
So then, then the coaches go go watch, select mm -hmm. some players. Okay. Some of them, some of the players have already they play the Premier League. Some day, um, Elegon City, some day Accra Lions, some day Great Olympics. Okay. And so I think say the exposure, no, then start to get them small, small. Um, as we host the tournament, when our ambition be say we go host. First of all, we go host, then qualify for Afcon. Okay. Because as we talk, since 2017, we, we don't no qualify for U17. Cra. Um, under Parkwesi, we finished second, Mali beat us final, mm -hmm. where we go the World Cup, where we exit, I think, the second round. Yeah. So we won't make them go Africa. We host um, one for Cape Coast. That one we lose to Burkina mm -hmm. for the semi final. Yeah. So we know if we make the Africa. This time round, we won't go a, a, a step further. So say we go qualify for the Africa. And once we qualify for the Africa, then we go fight for. How, for how the many trophy. teams they qualify from this zone? Two. Two teams. Yes. So it means say we um, for, the first and second. So it means we for catch final. We for catch final. Once okay. you catch final, final you it means say you qualify for Africa. Then as you catch the final, then you go think of the trophy. Okay. Yeah. Your, your thoughts, yeah. Um, Black Starlets. It be like in the last few years because many years ago, as we they grow up, then the Starlets be the team where they, they excite yeah. you. But it be like up and down, up and down. Like Henry, they talk since yeah. 2017. We know if we qualify for Africa. So your thoughts on this competition and the value. Yeah, it'd be, for the team. it'd be very valuable, especially mm -hmm. when you consider the changes that come there under 17 format inside. Mm -hmm. Right now, FIFA make an um, annual competition where from 2025, um, you, you, go, you go see, say, the under 17 tournaments, we go host them annually every year. Every year. So, say, it will boost the system. number of um, talent with the data system inside. We go give them that platform. Because every, if you do them two years, two years, the football cycle, it will leave some behind. It leaves some of the players behind. And FIFA always won't give platform, it won't give chance where mm. young talent will come the, the football system inside. Because if youngsters come the football system inside that, we then transfer them eventually. The money they will get, you know, it will trickle down to the, the feeder system, yeah. the feeder clubs. You know. I, I see some reports where as a, um, this, this season, the Premier League, as, as much as 300 million pounds go into agents and intermediaries, but 30 million pounds go into the feeder clubs. So that'd be 10%. That'd be 10%. And FIFA won't change, then they won't change that system. So how you go change that system? One, one of the ways we say you go help promote more boys come the football ecosystem okay. inside. Okay. And that's that why now FIFA, they won't do the under 17 every year. Every year. Annually. So 2025, be when they will start that new so cycle. 2025 onwards, 2025, every year. Yes, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028. Then go host them for Qatar. Then go host the under 17 World Cup for Qatar. And if a country like Ghana, very talented country like Ghana, we they miss out on an annual competition, then it'd be disastrous give we. Because when a football it means they want a football cycle, you know they get refreshing. That we want. Mm. And we know they push the players to that top level where they yeah. will feel, they will feel compete at the top level, where it will benefit them, then eventually benefit we. So the under 17 they'll be very crucial. It'll be very, very crucial. Even that 2017 group way, they don't share that force. That's where we get them Kudus, Eric Danlad. Even that squad they know force no. The guy go Manchester City. I mean um, Aminu Mohammed. Mohammed. Yes. Yeah. You see, that's why they know force self. We'll see the, the the guys we get from inside. So imagine say if we get um the, uh, the stylish to the World Cup level every year. Imagine the number of top players where we go fit, generate, um, put the under, under 20, under 23, then eventually the so Black Star system inside. Henry, so, so, very so, so in view of this reform where FIFA they bring 20, that from 2025, under 17 every year, what be the GFA they my plan? So say every year we go have, eventually, I mean, effectively we for build a new under 17 team every year. What, what be the long-term vision for Well, for I, I think it fits, it fit into... Um, the creation of the new national teams. Yeah. You know, now we get U15, yeah. we get U16. So say, we go replenish the U17 every now and then. Okay. What we they try to do, we say, we go invest more for the juvenile leagues, the coast leagues. Mm. Now, luckily, KGL Foundation did for five years. Now on a contract, enter the fourth year. By next year, it go end. But we already start the negotiate for um, extension mm. of, of that uh, contract. And so far, as we they talk, then they show interest and go extend them. So if you get support where you defeat the, the, the smaller teams, 
from the regions and the districts, you go to select kiddies way, then get 14, 15, make them come there, U15. Then you keep them for U15 for a year. Promote them, go U16. U16. You keep them for one year and then they go ripe for U17. So say at any point in time, you go get talent. One of the reasons to be the reason why we set up the Elite Academy for Bogatanga. Okay. So through that system, we the scout kiddies with a no-ball play mm -hmm. across the three northern regions. Okay. Then we get under some um, MOU with Bogatanga Senior High School. We go place them there. So as we speak, the first batch, they the SS1. Okay. We then they train every day. We get coaches where they train them. Mm -hmm. After school, then they go to the technical center, then they train, okay. then they go, go back to school. Okay. Then we they do another one for the middle belt. Yesterday we announced a, we and OKES signed some MOUA. It will take off very okay. soon. So kiddies where we go scout for Cape Coast area, Takradi area, we'll Ashanti all, area, we go move all go OKES through the GES because we and GES get some um, ar okay. agreement. So we go move them go OKES. Then the southern belt will be Volta, um, um, Greater Accra, and then Eastern region. Then that one too, we will do the same thing, then put them for Pram Pram. So say at any point in time, we have talent moving through the system. So that we go, we go have the U17 very competitive. Because if your feeder teams no be strong, it means say, the of top two go suffer. Go so from, for, from 15, 16, we go get 17. Now, the collaboration between the 17, 15, then 16, you know, it be very strong. Because Lai do the, the, the 15 with uh, your preco then Zito. Mm -hmm. We now, we move Zito go 19. 19. Where your preco come, the 15. Then the 16 to, we will get that collaboration, then then go feed the U17 team. Then from 17, then go, then go, go um, U18, um, U18 to U19. So say, you see say, from 17 to 20, would they miss out on lots of talent? Mm. Because imagine say, the U20 be, Biennially. Yeah, mm -hmm. every two years. Every two years. So the player play U17. He go Europe. One, you know they get some play. Two, in development be slow. Yeah. There are exceptional talents. Yeah. Fatao is an example. Yeah. Now the U20 way they go win the Africa for Mauritania. Mm -hmm. yeah. As we speak, we can only boast of three or four for the Black Star. I see. A free year ban here, you go World Cup. Mm -hmm. Dan Lard, you go World Cup. Fatao, he yeah. they play for, for Europe. Yeah. Which other talent you go fit mention of? But if so you get the others, or yeah, 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 yeah. That be why we create the U21. The U21 at least go help them make them transit from the U20, so that the four year cycle before the Meteors go be ready for Olympic qualifiers. No, mm -hmm. then then they play more. Then we they see them more. We they expose them more. Then they play friendly matches. Mostly European teams, they right say they won't play U19. Even yesterday. One North African team. They said they won't bring them a U15, U19, U18, come Ghana, come play a series of international friendly matches. But if you know get, how you go play? But if you get standing team, at least you go welcome those opportunities. It go help you. You go get the exposure. Then you go transit them from one team to the other. So this new uh, U17 way we go play them um, every year, you know, it be very, very, very um, um, helpful. It help, it go, it go, it go, it go bring fluidity yeah. uh -huh, for the football engine inside. If your car they start with the, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the yeah, engine yeah. or you come yeah. out yeah. or you yeah. finish, you know go fi, you know go fi start up. So it go, it go bring that fluidity and flexibility. So say every year you go, you go produce new breed of talent. Okay. So say your football ecosystem go be uh, very smooth. But Harry, just a quick one. Um, previous years, for more years, we get issue plus um, payment of coaches. Yeah. at this level, especially at the juvenile level. Yeah. Yeah. And then coaches, then be very crucial to the development of one of players. Very important. But multiple years, coaches the come, coaches they say they don't pay them more than one year. Yeah. They don't pay them two years. What uh, plans you put in place? We're going to say, though you create more um, um, teams, teams. It, this issue no go be problem. I think so, it'd be very... Because very, the coaches, they're the child. You get very, very critical cool. issues. Nuruddin, Amadou, Nuru Amadou Kasim, Kasim Mingo, Mingo, Karim Zito, Karim Zito Max Okunedu. Yes, Max Okunedu. But at least, Max Okunedu is already there. The U23 is there yeah. already. So, but we and the ministry talk plenty. In fact, even before we go to AFCON, we get the chance to meet the president. Where we tell the president, say, from the way things they go, if they don't come inside, yeah, what will happen? But you see, say, if something happens for a long time where you won't change them, sometimes... Some way, yeah. mm -hmm. 
So then tell us uh, the best way they say they go get maybe some corporate entity where they go dedicate some funding to that project. Okay. National team, coaches. coaches, the my salaries, the remuneration. So in the interim, in the absence of government, say you go pay or you know go pay with the mid government, blah, blah, blah. What we decide we say, anytime they are engaged, we they remunerate them. Like then go pram pram. Like the way lie day pram pram for like five months in the build okay. the U17, we they remunerate, we they remunerate them. We they give them money, so say it go sustain them okay. whilst it day pram pram. It's not being alone. It be in two assistants. Okay. But Neta, mostly if we they talk about payment of salaries for coaches, one thing where nobody they talk about be the backroom staff. I see. They say, say every national the team get at the least analyst. at least 15 people with and they work for their backroom staff. You go get doctor, you go get physio, mm -hmm. you go get physical trainer, you go get uh, uh, a video analyst, okay. you get two assistants, you get this, you get that. Then they number like 15. So you go pay all of them, or you go pay only the coaches, then leave the backroom staff. Mm -hmm. Those discussions still come up. But as we speak, where we are now, the strategy we adopt we say. Anytime they are them, engaged, we go, we go remunerate. Right. Until government go come inside, say it go take the bill fully. Okay. This is before made in Ghana for City TV. And we'll go come back after this short break. And if you come back, we'll go discuss Ghana Premier League. Another exciting match we can they wanna wanna front. Where they say now as an consequence, as they win one, they go win more and uh, they go <laughs> medium. We go discuss as an consequence and more after this short break. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kwame. My guest Henry Asan Tichum and Yao Ejimita. We go close the show with Ghana Premier League. Match week 28. <laughs> Match week 28. That'll be where we catch right now. We say the league, Natalie. Small, small, small. It will end very soon. And uh, the, 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 this will be the fixtures. Legon Cities and Chelsea. Hearts of Oak, they are crowns. Hearts right now, they, they look for win. Because they will not win yeah. the Malas. Oh, the Malas, um, four games. Then they they, win. Then they, they win, win one. one. Yeah. They win one where they lose three. They lose three. They, they, they lose to Legon City. Nations, Gold Stars, Bechim, then Lions, Ediana Stars, and Karela. Samatex, league leaders that they play at Kra Great Olympics. Mediama and Kotoko, this will be the top liner. And Swatcherman. Um, Dreams, of course, they, they no go play because yeah. they, they take part. So this, again, they go reschedule. Yeah, them a game. They and, they and more outstanding team. matches for dreams. More outstanding yeah, more matches. Outstanding. You know, they put, they, they pack the matches. Oh yeah, they, they pack. But what we do, we say, because of the dreams game, mm -hmm. they're not gonna be Premier League match on Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. yes. So all the games day on Saturday. The, the games day on Saturday. Our four, our five of the games day, Saturday. Okay. Then the rest go be Monday. Okay. Then the Dreams FC game will be outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting yeah. plan from the FA. Yeah, I'll make you talk about this because <laughs> now, because <laughs> I'm going to win one nil after going yeah. weeks and weeks on weeks where they no win. Yeah. Game. They might previous win be the first of March. Yeah. That one, they beat Gold Stars. Goal stars. They beat yeah. Gold Stars 1 0. Zero. So, first we of March, seven they games. After they that, go seven they, games. they lose six. Winless. Seven six games wins. is how many points? Seven, if you lose 21, seven games, you lose 21. 21. But they get one point. They, they had a draw. A draw. That, that was one against Bechim. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Controversial. So, yeah. so one, and six one out of 21. Yeah, one out of 18. It'd be six. The yeah. seventh game. Seven be, game. It'll be the no, one game. Seven, 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 okay, so seven winless win run. We didn't draw so one. We didn't lose points. six. Hi. So they, they lost 18 points. 18 points. So wow. they lose 18 points. 18 points. Straight yeah. points. So and that'd be why Kotoko did where they did. Because after the first round, not in this second. After the first round, not in this second. So that run, that Wretched run of form. That, that way, it dragged them and can't catch the yeah, tenth, tenth right now. A bit small. <laughs> so, yeah. So, medium one then, as I think it will go, yeah, it will be tough game. Because but medium one to the struggle anyway. Yeah, medium one to get them, uh, them own issues. Own but issues. But for, for home, yeah, them be, them be tough side. But for Kotoko, me looking at the controversial penalty they get, you know, <laughs> where now nah, the, pr the pressure they they under. Me are not sure say this game at the season don't go with. Me at the season it will be draw. Same way now they expect say Kotoko then the um, Samatex game to it will be draw until that um, incident yeah, happens. Penalty. Yeah, because Midiama, yeah, then to then they struggle score goals. Um, them, I think the my last three games where they get some two zero win um, inside. House of Folk. Yeah, against House mm -hmm. of Folk. Uh huh. So the man, the man new coach, he come inside. The man new Serbia coach, um, um, the Bosia. Like it's in it, it now. Yeah, but now we. Yeah, you it's easy. The players the now they, they struggle. They really get into rhythm with the with the style. So I pop the two the two teams all that. They no be consistent. Mm. They no be consistent. That's why me and the CC 
this game will play out uh, as a draw. But the summer text Olympics day. Summer, I see summer text winning that one. Sounds like they are like the I can't like, form. Has a I don't go shock say if has a lose this game because across the the way they pick form, it be it'd brutal. Be, it'd be very stubborn. Henry, so as the FA decides say they go play the games on Saturday. So initially, as you so. When you tell the clubs, or the clubs know beforehand? No, we informed them yesterday. Okay. We, what I mean, we, release, we release the fixtures. I mean, uh, what I go talk, be say, be the club safe way, then they push, make we no play on Sunday. So uh -huh. say them all go support, so them all go support um, Dreams FC. Dream. So once that thing comes from the clubs, we, we, we hit to them a call, say, okay. we go reschedule the games. So say some go play Saturday, okay. then the rest go play after Sunday. I see. Of all the games, we one way you go follow. Which one, personally? Which one I go follow? Yeah, or all of them. <laughs> Maybe the Summer Text Olympics game. <laughs> because Olympics too, they're not be safe. Oh. Where yeah, they yeah, play yeah, for, yeah, the, yeah. for the tabletop, mm -hmm. they're not be safe. Then to then struggle, then go long haul without win. Yeah. Where they win last weekend. Where Summer Text go away, where they go lose for Kotoko. But they're my home form be incredible. Well, Summer Brilliant. Brilliant. Form, yeah. They lose it's only crazy. one match yeah. to Nations FC. Where Nations to go lose for Heart of Lions. Um, 3 0. Yeah, three me, zero. it shocked me. If Lions go win, <laughs> serve, maybe some 1 0. One, or something. 3 3 some way. So, nations, as then they come play gold stars, some attacks to the shake. Nations get home match, then go win. Mm -hmm. Some attacks to go win. Then for win, so I say nations no go close the gap Good, because yeah. now it'll be five points. Be five, yeah. Yeah. If some attacks do our way, nations win, then go close the gap. Yeah, it go, go be two. Go then the pressure will be high. Then as then they breathe down the neck, some anything go so, free happen. Yeah. So, Summer text there, are they, are they, are they, are they, are they hope say, okay. then go fit take them a points for home. Then the other game to the first and second, Nations, Nations uh, BBN Gold Stars, I think say Nations go, go fit pick the points All from right. there. All right, guys, that'll be how we go wrap up the show. Henry, thank you so much, Yaraj. Thank you, oh, Yaraj. Oh. Thank you so much. My name is Nathan Curtis B. Another exciting episode of Football Made in Ghana. Next week, we'll go come back with a lot more. Hopefully, by the time we go come back, then we all get good news concerning dreams. They make the final. Then we go discuss how they go plot that final uh, next week. My name is Nathan. Many thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week with another exciting episode of Football Made in Ghana. Stay safe. See you then.